The sound of Color Me Bad is more like the city than the wide open spaces, even though they started out together in Oklahoma. Now these young guys are trying to build on the success they've earned. Mark Calderon. I said it and I felt something at the age of 12. I knew what I was doing. That's where I, I got to know the spirit. It stayed in me, uh, you know, throughout my life. As I got into high school and uh, met up with uh, three buddies of mine, we all got together and like a lot of singing, uh, started singing a lot of harmony and doo-wop. There was a, a commercial that came on television. Levi's 501 Blues. And we learned that commercial and people just loved it. So we decided to take it a step further. I remember uh, one of my buddies was working at a, a, a movie theater. He called us up, said, hey guys, John Bon Jovi's here, man. So <laughs> we caught him after the movie theater. Hey man, we just want 60 seconds of your time. Come on. Uh, okay, come on, go ahead, let me hear what you got. So we started singing the song, Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home to Stay. We did it. We sang and opened up for Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what happened was Cool and the Gang came through town, and we did the same thing with them. They called us up and said, hey, why don't you guys come to New York, and let's work on some demos, and let's get you guys a record deal. There was this one label. Giant Records, who was a subsidiary of the Warner, Warner Brothers, they approached us and they said, uh, "Would you guys want to, you know, we want you guys to be in this movie soundtrack?" Well, we chose this one song, and it had a really cool groove to it. It fit our style, it fit our vocals. Only one problem with this song: the title and the course of the song was "I Want to Sex You Up." The song came out. New York was playing it. Los Angeles, all the P1 stations, all the clubs, all the doing. clubs, yeah. Doing. And they are Color Me Bad. The record company calls us and says, guys, we need an album done in three weeks. They took us to Los Angeles. We lived in the studio. They put out our CD. And it just started selling like hotcakes. Yeah, it was I mean, huge. Uh, I remember that. Seven million records. That's when everything got crazy for me. Albums doing great. We go out on tour with Paul Abdul for about two years. Jay Leno show, Arsenio Hall show, Regis and Kathy Lee winning American Music Awards and Soul Train Awards and being nominated for a Grammy and being recognized everywhere you went. Now, get this, man. This is what I've always dreamed for. Yeah. I'm young. I've got it all. 21 years old, top record, 7 million records sold. Everything was just happening so perfect. Wow. You know? And that's where I got into all my trouble, you know, you know. I remember God was convicting me throughout all this stuff. Help me, help me, Lord. Do whatever you gotta do to bring me back to you. Even if it takes taking all this away from me. Break me down. As time went on, you know, Things were getting worse with the group. That's when I seek God, <laughs> really. I really started seeking out, okay, God, what do you want me to do now? Yeah. You know, and sometimes we're thinking, oh my gosh, God, what are you doing? Man, I tell you what, he's awesome. Every single time he has brought me through, no matter what situation, I wrote my, my first Christian song <laughs> um, not too long ago, you know, last November, actually. Uh, a song called He'll Be There. When you need someone to talk to, oh yeah, with this love and hands he'll carry you. You've got to go through those trials. I mean, if everything was just so perfect in life, you know, why would we need God, you know? And that's when, when, when you see God's hand working. I'm on this journey, man. We all are, Mark. We all are. We are on this journey. And I'm excited yeah. because he does big things. He is, he is the love of my life, you know, and, and this is my testimony. This is it. He'll be there for you. He will come for you. Prince of peace.